first stages of the bush mule build right here. It's such a big plane I can't fit it in frame. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. So this is Dave from Retired Time Productions and the first thing I'm going to be doing is working on the tail section here and putting in my Easy UHF dipole antenna. So that's right there. So I just have a, a cutout. Just took an X-Acto knife and a screwdriver and carved out a hole to fit the dipole in right there. And then I drilled up through here and ran the ground side of it down through there, through the bottom of the vertical stabilizer. And then the top I just cut a slit and embedded it right into the foam. Now I'll probably go ahead and put some uh, clear vinyl Actually, I'll probably use yellow vinyl, just a strip of yellow vinyl over here to cover that up and a strip up here to cover that up so it won't look too obvious. Now, over here on the end of the plane, this is where I have my SMA cable sticking up right there and that's going to tie into that right there. And then it eventually runs down along the SMA cable to right in there. I'm going to take and glue a little piece of foam right here on the wall back here for the easy UHF to sit on. I'm going to velcro it onto that foam once I glue it on with some of this foam tack. So here is the easy UHF receiver mounted on the side of the fuselage inside here. So I can access the wiring right here, plug in any wires I need. Chances are I'll be using PPM. So just one servo cable. And then this SMA cable runs back here. Two right there. Not the neatest job, but I'll clean it up later. I'm just trying to get this thing in the air. So next I bound my Easy UHF to a model on my radio using the Tyrannus. And I uh, just wanted to find out if my flight controller would work. I'm using the APM Pro and it's got plenty of outputs so I can run everything. So what we did was hooked up with PPM, a single servo cable from the Easy UHF. This is a four channel light so there's no way I could just use this by itself without the flight controller because it only has four channels. But using PPM I can break out 12 channels. So PPM goes across to the APM Pro right here so that's that wire. Now I'm just going to go ahead and test the elevator servo. So here's the power module to the APM right here. And let's see, flip it around. Okay, let's plug in a four cell battery into that because I'm going to be using four cells on the Bush Mule. So plug in a four cell battery. The APM is energized and you can see the Easy UHF is going. But I need to turn on my radio. Welcome to Tyrannis. Okay, Tyrannis is coming on. Mode, camera pan center. Okay, now we should see this start pulsing, so we know it's bound to the radio. I already did the binding process earlier. I have some movies like this one where you can set up the Easy UHF and the Minimo SD for the APM, and I'll put up some links to those for those who are interested in installing the equipment that I did. Okay, now I'm going to hook up the elevator servo to channel 2. Channel 2 output. But of course there's no power to it because the the uh, 5 volt rail for the APM is not being powered right now. So I'm going to use this UBEC here to power it. And for now I'm going to be running it off this 3 cell battery but it can be hooked into the 4-cell battery later. Usually what I do is just solder it onto the or solder these wires where the battery normally goes for the UBEC. I just solder them to the output of the power module right here. Just solder it on there so that I get power to the UBEC. But let's go ahead and power it off a battery. So I'm going to plug that into the output rail so it can be in any of these places, any open channel because the 5 volts is connected to all of them together and so is the ground. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and power up 
the U back. So now we got five volts to the output rail on the APM, and you can see the light that's uh, paralleled in with the elevator servo is now blinking right there. So we know we're getting power. Now let's just go ahead and we'll take a look at this servo over here. This is the elevator servo right there. I'm going to move the stick. And okay, so right now it looks like I'm hooked to the aileron channel, so I need to move my wire. All right, let's see which wire it is. Channel two wasn't it. Let's try channel three. Ah, that's it. It may be reversed. Kind of looks like it is because when I'm pushing down, it looks like it's going to push the elevator up. Ah, actually, maybe that's right. That's correct, which will make the plane pull out. Yep, that would be right then. Okay, so that's working. So I just have to go through my other channels and connect them up, test them, make sure all the servos work, and then move on. Next, just checking the minimum OSD to make sure that works. I've got that hooked to a camera right here from the APM and got it over here on the screen just to make sure everything's going on. And so that's good. Next, I'm going to use some of this clear transparent Velcro to fasten the APM down to the fuselage. I think probably just here will be good. I just don't know where else to put it. There's plenty of room in here, but I think that's the best spot. There's kind of a slick surface that they have already there. So I'm going to try that. So here's the APM Pro mounted inside the fuselage on the Velcro. And here's what it looks like from the side view. Now i got to figure out where to put the GPS. So the GPS and compass connectors are right here on the bottom two slots on the APM Pro. White wire on the outside right here is on in the middle slot and yellow wire on the outside is on the bottom slot. Just for reference. I'm thinking of using this XL U-Blox GPS and Compass module I got from France. It's supposed to pick up more satellite constellations so I might try it and just see if I can get it wired in. It should have similar wiring to this other module that came with the APM Pro. It's a little bigger, but with a plane this size, the extra weight probably won't matter. It's designed by Drotec in France. Well, it took me about two minutes to get uh, six satellites out of this GPS. So far, I just have the GPS wired in, so that's the way I have the wire soldered on right there. So white, yellow, and then I don't have the two for the compass yet. And then I have ground and voltage. So white, yellow, black, red. Now after about a minute and 30 seconds, I got nine satellites. Actually it was a little less than that, about a minute and 10 seconds. Worked fast that time. And here it is. That's not actually supposed to be touching it. I've got the compass and the GPS wires hooked up to the APM. I just used some servo cables and some four pin connectors from Polulu or Polulu and just uh, worked it that way. Pretty easy. So I think that's enough for this video. I've got to do some more thinking on where everything's going to be placed. So we'll see you next time for part two of this build series.